right, I'm going to perform a hydrological analysis to find a watershed of Viborg, Denmark. Watershed is basically an area of land that contains a common set of streams or rivers that all drain into a single larger body of water. So let's begin. We have temp data set of Viborg on screen here. Open our toolbox. Go to Spatial Analyst toolset. Now locate hydrology, maximize it. And in the first step, use the fill tool to fill the dam of Viborg. Drag the dam in the input bar, name it, and press OK. It takes only three to four seconds. All right, here it is. Now in the second step, we are going to use the flow direction tool. Drag this filled dam in the input bar. Name it if you want to. Press OK. Alright, it's done. Now in the third step, open the flow accumulation tool. Drag the flow direction in the input bar. Name it if you want to. Change it from flow to integers. I'm going to change the name OK. And press OK. All right, it's done. Now open its properties. Okay, go to symbology. Now choose histogram equalize. Press OK. Okay, here you can see all the depressions in the Dems data set. Now we are going to set a condition here. And drag the flow direction file in input in the input bar of condition now drag flow accumulation in the true roster and false roster as well press ok name it if you want to and press ok all right here it is now you see we have a more generalized depressions of this dem data set It's more easy to tackle now this way. Now we're gonna find the stream order. Drag condition output file in the input bar. Flow direction file here. Name it if you want to and press OK. Okay, it's done now we gonna convert this roster shape file into the vector data set open stream to feature drag the relevant files here flow direction here and press ok make sure to check it and press ok It takes approximately 8 to 10 seconds. Okay, great, here it is. Now we're gonna find the stream orders. Simply open the properties. I'm going to build a query here. Note it down somewhere. In the definition query section, I'm going to build this query. 
you can note it down somewhere. Make sure to build this query using only half of these unique values and make sure there is no error here we got an error in the background check it again okay we didn't write the c o d e we missed the e of the code all right okay go to the symbology section now open categories in unique values now choose grid code add all values all right here it is these are the four strings give them the color you may like assign them numbers one two three and four all right apply okay pressing okay all right here it is we have found the stream orders of this we bought them data set all right now find the basin drag this flow direction file in the input press ok wait for a few seconds here it is we have found the basin of the bog dam data set we can observe the stream order distinctively give it whatever color you want press ok all right it's perfect now in the next step we are going to create a point shape file locate your catalog create a shape file in your relevant folders wherever you want to file name it PowerPoint choose the relevant data frame sorry coordinate system choose the relevant coordinate system not the data frame here it is all right press ok ok all right it's done all right switch off the unnecessary layers ok we are going to use we only gonna use the conditioned layer in this step open editor toolbar start editing Okay. Now drop as many as four points as you can and make sure to drop them in the intersections of these streams. All your port points should be on these white lines. I 
I'm dropping only a few pole points here but you can drop as many as you want we are going to snap all these pole points on these white lines here all right seems okay let's drop a few more here here all right it's enough stop adding save it again open the arc toolbox in the hydrology tool set open snap port point drag the point shape file here and make sure to select the FID accumulation raster here okay press okay perfect it's done we dropped almost 17 exactly 17 points and they are perfectly snapped on these white lines okay great we have snapped almost 17 points Okay, now in the last step, we are going to find the watershed or catchment area. Open the watershed tool. Choose flow direction file here. And use the snap output file. This one. Drag it here. Name it whatever you want to. Oh, here is another. There are already two files. Okay, I'll just give it another name. Okay. Yep, seems great. Press OK. there we go this is the watershed of Viborg Denmark because we dropped a limited number of pore points so we only extracted a limited number of watersheds all right it seems perfect We can convert this raster dataset into the vector dataset using this tool. That is not necessary. It's just an option. If you want to, you can use it. There we go. Great, it's perfect. These are the stream order. this is the watershed and lastly we have the basin of Vibog Denmark perfect thank you